Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Skyrim Let's Play slash Walkthrough Part 47? <laughs> In this one, we are going to be playing To Kill an Empire, and I am, uh, I'm starting to wonder, you know, and I've been doing these Dark Brotherhood quest missions, I'm wondering, is are we really going to kill the Emperor? Because that sounds like something that would have been in the uh, Civil War storyline that I haven't done yet and haven't picked a side on yet. But I'm pretty excited to see what happens. I'm kind of leaning towards this goes wrong. But hey, I guess we'll see. If you guys have been enjoying it, if you enjoyed the last part, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and we're going to get right on into it, I think. We're going to report to Astrid. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. <laughs> oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Hell yes, let's go. Let's set this in the Night Mother. I've never been, like, super simpy to any of the gods in this game, so I'm going to continue with... My character to be in that way. I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing oh, as a yeah. chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Oh, cool. Well, hopefully Commander Morrow doesn't murder the guy that... I mean, what? Recognize the guy that murdered his son. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Okay, now, upper door, cross the bridge. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Oh, hell yeah, you guys. I'm actually really excited. Okay. Anything else? What else can you tell me about Jaren Root? Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's go. I'm so excited. The only thing is I hope that Commander Morrow doesn't recognize us. Because that would be really terrible. All the AIs have recognized us, but I guess since it's part of the story, I'm assuming he won't. Luckily. But, oh man, oh man, here we go, y'all. Holy Jesus. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, man. Well, so, so like, are we just instantly, are they gonna be like, you're a traitor as soon as I look at the city? You probably will, honestly. Hmm. Damn it. I don't know, boys. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't get how we're supposed to uh, do all these solitude missions and go to Markarth, like all these cities, when the AI just instantly recognizes you, no matter what you wear. Pretty sure that's what's about to happen. But I think we'll see. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Maybe if I just switch to the chef's outfit right away, they won't. No, I'm. God damn it. You'll never catch me. It's a freaking dead end. Have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Bro, four thousand gold. You know what, you guys? Will it serve the story if I just pay it? <laughs> what I mean is, like, realistically, I pay it. They think I'm good. And then I get my revenge by killing the emperor. Man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and so I think, to go. So I think this actually works fine, out. Of course. Makes me chill with solitude. And then I'm gonna kill their emperor. <laughs> Let's go. My plan is perfect, you guys. This is a perfect, flawless plan. Alright. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. Show him the real What's passage. this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The gourmet. By Osra. The gourmet. I I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. 
You're not dressed as I would have suspected. <laughs> but please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Alright, you guys, let's go! Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm excited. This is what they get for making me pay 4,000 gold. Oh, this is so cool, wow! I've never been in this room. Dude, is this, is this gonna be the episode thumbnail? Is, is that what this is gonna be? Is this episode thumbnail? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> My game freeze? I can't even turn? Wait, what? Why can't you, why can't you turn when you're in the throne? Excuse me? That's stupid. And you can't get this sit thrown off your screen either? Oh my lord, that is so cool though. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever been in the Solitude Castle. On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. Bitch! The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Hmm, you're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Oh, well, huh. actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. If you guys can hear my computer losing its mind a little bit, I apologize. We'll begin as soon as you're wearing so this. Check the shelf over there. Wouldn't want Chef's hat. Okay. This is probably gonna look so weird, you guys. Let's see, uh... Where the hell... What? It's not on my... Oh, it is on my apparel. I'm just being a bot. Okay. What does this look like? Haha! <laughs> oh, this looks so weird. Oh my gosh. It looks so bad. Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. Huh? I'm the liberty of getting it started. But the How does she know? Only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. Hell yeah! It's already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Uh, <laughs> make the potage e magnifique. Carrots? Really? Okay. Bitch, what don't then? question me. Vampire dust? What in the tart? What? I'm gonna do it. Vampire dust? Seriously? Hmm. Yes, I <laughs> guess I can see how that would add a more earthy texture. And oddly enough, we do have some on hand. All right, what next then? Oh, I was trolling, but oh shit, giant's toe! What the hell? Really? Oh, I use ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea! Okay, now what? Uh, diced corkery? Hell no. A septum? A septum? As in a gold coin? Really? Ah, I see now. That would give the potage le magnifique a This lady's whack delicate, as hell. Delicious she, she, <laughs> she's simply brilliant. She's really falling for this. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, uh, is that it? Let me, uh, let me add my poison. Hell yeah, the jar in her. Oh, Let's go. What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Do it! I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll that? carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Oh, they will be. <laughs> I, I already don't even remember what I put in there besides 
See? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I'm excited. I might not even have to do any stabbing. I just gotta follow Gianna and watch. And my exit is gonna be up the stairs and across a bridge, I think. Oh, I can't wait to see this, though. This is gonna be freaking awesome. I... I know that I can, well, okay, I will save my rating for the this quest line to the end, like I did for the Thieves Guild, but right now, I'm loving this Dark Brotherhood stuff. I'm loving it, but I want, hopefully, maybe I, maybe I can get away with this crime without even getting chased. I probably just jinxed the shit out of myself, <laughs> but we'll see. Cold me, hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Get that recent business. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yeah, look, look badass. Turn of events. Kill the Emperor, let's go. An isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the mad son alone. Truth is, we are in There's no danger whatsoever. Killing an Emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. You call me? This is such an honor. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. Let's go! <laughs> Where's the balcony? Is it this way? It's just... Oh, marvelous. Okay. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... Awesome! Let's go! The chef of poison the Emperor! Oh my gosh. No, no, you don't Let's understand. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! He's really down. Please me! You can't take it. You can't block forever, buddy. Alright. Oh my gosh, you guys! Oh my god, let's go! And there's no one guarding this. Hell yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, am I- It was by far. Most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's no dead, way, but I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Fuck it would have succeeded had it been the real man. So, no way. so was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see, an exchange. I get you. And the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. No way! He's being put to the sword right now. That's what I think what? is the deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Okay, Mara does have common kill sense. Him. He remembers. Sure there's nothing left to bury. Oh, okay. Okay, that... I fucking... Holy shit. I really didn't know this was going to happen. Oh, that's fucking crazy. I, I dead ass thought we were free to go. Holy shit, I should have known. I keep thinking Skyrim's old, it, it won't have plot twists, but I guess they've got it down. Damn. Okay. He said the whole brotherhood's being put to the sword, too. Oh, shit. That is not good. You have committed crimes against Skyrim. And oh, please. What say you in your defense? I'm so past you, dude. Yeah, so I guess there really wasn't ever going to be peace with, uh, with Solitude. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Let's, let's sort this out. Lucky hit. Okay, here we go, boys. Thousand bounty added. Suck my ass, buddy. 
<laughs> I can't avoid these bounties to save my life. Shit. Oh my gosh, you guys. The plot twist is real. I don't know what's going to happen now. What's my next objective? What am I supposed to do? Return to the sanctuary? Okay. Oh shit, am I being pursued still? They're trying to stop me. I can't let them stop me though. Bitch. We gotta get we gotta get back to the sanctuary to try to warn everyone. But if they're already being put to the sword, I wonder if like is Astrid already dead or her husband? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I have to I'm just running I'm just running to nowhere you guys because I won't let me fast travel right now. But I mean I'm not trying to make Skyrim Vets mad, but I play this because I know it's a classic, and it's awesome, but I, I forget that just because the game's old doesn't mean its story can't be god tier. Which, I've been playing Halo through again with my friend Ethan right now, and that story is 20 years old, so I guess I should know that the stories can still be great. I just assumed, hey, this mission's gonna be straightforward, and uh, exactly what it says it's gonna be, and... I mean, I did say though, like, if, like, <laughs> shouldn't Commander Mara recognize us? And he did. So, uh, I actually like that. I actually like that more because it makes sense. Like, why would all of everybody recognize you in anything? And then this one time that he actually should recognize when he doesn't. So, makes sense. Holy shit, you guys. I'm just trying to get back to the sanctuary. <laughs> I'll never get sold. Oh, this man has a lot of health. Yeah. Come on now. The arch. Get off me. Hey, onwards and upwards. Okay, you guys, I cut out a lot of travel, and so I've had a lot of time to think. And so I've been wondering, who, who could have betrayed the Brotherhood? Because Cicero's already been dead, so I'm just starting to wonder who would, uh, who would, who would betray us, you know? I, I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. I... Who, who left could betray, or would betray the Brotherhood? And then also, uh, the Sanctuary wasn't on the map, so I didn't know if everyone's dead already. But this is the next mission, so... In the midst of their assault, I must assist my fellow members of my family in any way that I can. Wow, okay. Damn. I think I'm gonna leave this to the next part, brothers and sisters. I don't know. Dang, I want to play this right now so bad, but I think that it should be another part. So, <laughs> Wild Intelligence going off. If you guys are enjoying it so far, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. I'm, I did not expect the plot twist, so this is pretty badass. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.